Hey, Donnie here from Rotomoto. Just a quick little injury update brought to you by O'Neill heading into East Rutherford as we do have one last minute guy sitting out this round as well as updates from Nate Thrasher, Michael Moseman, and Garrett Marchbanks, among others, as far as what their recovery plans are and when we are going to see them back on a bike. Let's not bury the lead though. Club MX Yamaha dealt another blow with Jeremy Martin's crash in Atlanta that at first did not look so bad. Instead, it's going to keep him out of action this weekend. If you watch the Club MX race vlog, you might have noticed that Jeremy was relatively relatively unbothered by his crash, electing to pull off not because of injury, but just because of how far back he was. By the time he gathered himself, he was a lap down on a 90 second track, and I don't blame him for not forcing coming back out there just to find out that maybe things were worse than they were, and it was a good decision because he was right. After lingering effects throughout the week, concerned J-Mart and the team, he headed in for x-rays Thursday and found out he was suffering from pneumothorax, more commonly known as a collapsed lung. This obviously makes it difficult to breathe, especially during a race pace, but even worse, it would have prevented Jeremy from boarding a plane as the change in cabin pressure could create severe complications for Jeremy. Club MX's Mike Bonacci assured me though that he will be back and is expected to line up next weekend in Nashville. And I don't blame this decision at all as let's be honest, we all know and want to see the number six take the fight outdoors. I already covered Nate Thrasher's injury a bit in his own separate video earlier in the week, but just an update that the Star Racing Yamaha squad has made the decision to bench Thrasher for the remainder of 2023, causing the 29 to miss outdoor action as well. And with that, it seems he will be sitting out the SMX finales as the press release puts emphasis on a 2024 title hunt instead. Thrasher will go under the knife to repair his torn ACL from earlier in the year, in addition to rehabbing his broken collarbone and dislocated hip after that gnarly get off in Atlanta. Jumping back over to Club MX news, originally it was planned for Garrett Marchbanks to make the last four rounds of the East series after a preseason practice crash left him with a broken radius and dislocated wrist the 36 was back on the bike in early march but it looks like the team is going to move cautiously with their banged up crew holding garrett on the sidelines to heal up to 100 before contending the outdoor series on a 250 alongside his teammate jeremy martin Similarly, Michael Moseman will not return this weekend or at all for Supercross 2023. After a nasty crash at Daytona all the way back at the very beginning of March that left Michael questioning if he would miss just one round, it looks like the rider and team have instead opted to take the remaining month off and gear up for the outdoor series in late May. Not going to speculate too much here, but it is worth noting that Michael came into 2023 as a favorite to contend for the 250 East title, but couldn't even muster a top five finish in the four rounds that he lined up for, no doubtly disappointing to himself and the team. No secret that Michael broke his neck outdoors last season, and many have speculated that he's still suffering from the effects of that, whether it be physical or mental, but hopefully we see Michael back outdoors, back near the front competing for Moto wins in 2023. Couple of housekeeping notes, no word on Ferrandis's return, but at this point, I think it's safe to say he's not returning until outdoors. The plan is still for Marv to be ready to catch at least one round by the end of the season, especially if Coop is still in the title hunt, as he could run a little bit of interference. Muskin doesn't have a ride lined up for 2024, so I'm sure he would at least like a proper send off, if not another chance to make an impression for another team. Alex Ray's recovery seems to be coming around nicely, and the plan is still to be back for Denver and Salt Lake. And finally, some Rockstar Husqvarna news. The rumor mill says that they are actually shopping for at least one fill-in ride for outdoors, confirming what we already knew, that we likely won't see either of them for a long time, and maybe we won't see them until 2024. This is the blah, 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 like the video because I ask and subscribe if you want to part. If you like winning autograph stuff, there's a Patreon link down there somewhere. Thanks for watching Rotomoto. My name is Donnie. Keep it pinned to the weekend.